Hello! Welcome to Anime Mystics. I'm Roman, and tonight I am watching Piano no Mori Episode 4. So, last episode, um... Oh god, what's the name of the teacher? What's the name of the teacher? Um... I actually know. Was teaching K. I think it's K, right? K? Yeah. Excuse me. Was teaching K how to play um, one of Mozart's piano pieces. Uh, the same one that uh, Shue? Yeah, Shue is playing for the competition. Um, and he plays him his version of it um, from when he was in his prime. Um, so Kay is listening to this song over and over again on the CD player and is playing it and what he tells him is, okay, you've gotten really good at copying my way of doing it. And then he takes the CD and says, I don't want you listening to this anymore. I want you to be able to play this song the way you would play it. Um... He didn't quite get what he meant. Um, basically, he doesn't want him to copy anybody's style. He wants him to put his own style into the song. Um, and he can't. He can't quite get it. He's starting to believe that he's got like other issues. Like I guess Mozart's just too tough or something because he's seeing Mozart everywhere that he goes <laughs> um, and the teacher tells him look you're the only only obstacle that's set in front of you right now you are the only reason you cannot do this so just keep practicing and you'll you'll eventually get it um god stupid there we go um so he keeps trying and trying and trying, and he can't get it. Uh, and then it's the day of the competition, and he was lent some clothes um, by the old lady that, I guess, rents out the place to, uh, as you know. And he's putting it on, and he's getting ready to leave. He's trying to sneak out. He doesn't want his mom to know. I. He says because she'll get super excited and stuff, and I guess he does. I guess it's too embarrassing for him or whatever. But the lady that runs the, uh, I guess, the brothel that she works at finds him and is like, okay, why haven't you been here helping us clean? I'm not just letting you stay here for free and all this. And he's like, I know, just let me, I gotta go today. I got something I gotta do. So just, I'll help clean later. Just, I have to go. And she's not letting him go. She even puts her dirty mop on his shirt. And here, they're fighting. Wakes up his mom. She's coming down the stairs asking what's going on. He's on the floor because the, the, the lady has him pinned down with her mop. And while she's distracted, he gets up and runs out the door. His mom chases after him. Ajino is waiting for him by the taxi. He's running up. He's getting in the taxi and he's trying to tell him to get in so they can leave. But he sees this lady running towards him. And he's like, okay, um see what's going on here she comes up he's uh she's wondering who he is and where he's going with her son which is a good question since she doesn't know that he's being taught how to play piano um he explains you know i'm teaching him how to play piano and right now we're going to a piano competition um and she's, like, super excited and gets in the cab and leaves with them. Uh, she didn't exactly chains, change. She just went in whatever she was wearing. <laughs> but Ajino uh, you know, puts his coat around her, you know, kind of cover her up a bit. Um, and he's kind of explaining how things are done. And that he's having some issues trying to put, I guess, himself into the song that he's playing. Um, and then they hear about, I think his name, yeah, Shue, and 
Or I'll just call him Shu. Because everybody is talking about him. And the teacher explains, you know, he's the son of uh, so-and-so, who's a very famous pianist. And right now he is considered the uh, top contender to win this competition. And she's been impressed. I mean, how could she not be? <laughs> I mean, she knows I, She knows the kid, I believe, because he's been to their house before. But I don't know... Yeah, he met her, I think, in episode two. And... So, I mean, she didn't know his background, though, with the piano. So this was, like, news to her. Anyway, they're in the waiting room. Not them, but, you know, um, Kay is in the waiting room, and he's sitting there. And this girl over to the right of him is complaining about how she didn't know she was going to be here that it's basically pointless for her to even go out and play because he's going to win and all her hard work is going to be for nothing and Kay is just telling her you know just shut up it's not even it hasn't even started yet how do you know you're not going to win and uh, they're like having a back and forth and then Shu comes in and he's talking to Kay and she's like wondering who he is because he mentioned that Kay is his only rival right now. He's the only one that he's kind of worried about. <laughs> I think the funniest line out of this exchange was right before they left. Uh, she's like, looking at the both of them, and he's like, don't look over here. And she's like, I'm not looking at you. And he goes, well, keep not looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> and they leave. Um, as he's walking down one of the hallways in the back, the lady that was with this girl, her, um, I guess, um, I don't know if she'd be considered a maid or something, but she, like, looks after her. Um, was running up and asked him if he'd seen her because she has gone missing. And he's like, I don't care, you know, whatever. Just get away, it's not my problem. And he starts walking off. And he's going on about how she was annoying and this and that. And then he accidentally finds her because she's crying on the stairs near a bathroom. And he's just like, oh, Really? Did she really have to be down here? And he tries talking to her, and he ends up helping her out. Asking her, basically giving her the advice that uh, Gino gave him, saying, you know, well, you say you can't play in front of these people, and that you're worried about him, but what? where's a place that you feel most comfortable playing? And, uh, she says the bathroom. Uh, because she could just be in there by herself. And so they're like, okay, well, there's a bathroom right there. Let's just go inside. And she tries, like, I can't do it. And he's like, what do you mean you can't do it? She's like, I can't do it. I need my dog. My dog is usually in there with me, and I just kind of hug her and pet her fur, and it helps relax me. <laughs> and then she touches his hair, and is like, it's kind of like this, and uses him as a substitute for the dog. Um, which relaxes her and she starts like kind of practicing with the keys on his like the back of his head and not long after that they're called to the back where um, they're waiting to be called up on the stage um, Shu is the first one to go which I felt was unfair <laughs> seeing as how he is considered the top contender to win I would figure they'd want him to be last but, you know, whatever. He goes up, completely kills his his performance. The judges can't even find anything wrong with it. And are already considering him the winner. So he leaves the stage, and then um, someone else is called up, and then they go, and she starts, you know, doing the same thing with uh, Kay and his hair, you know, getting kind of rubbing his hair, giving him a hug and stuff to feel the hair against her face. 
and um, kind of gives her a pep talk and her time's up. So it's starting, it ended with her getting ready to go on stage to play her piece. So I'm assuming that it's just going to pick right up where it left off and we're going to hear her perform. And then they're going to go through the rest of the contestants and he'll go up and play. So let's get into this episode and see if I am correct or not. So the video is going to be located over here, and the link to the reaction is going to be in the description down below. And we're going to start this episode in 3, 2, 1. <laughs> 